a clinical psychologist. I graduated from King Saud University uh, in, two, in Riyadh in 2004. I started my journey with yoga in 1998, um, and that was because of my health issues. Not because I really uh, understood um, what I understand now about yoga, but I wanted to practice a very gentle type of sport that I won't suffer after. One of my problems that time when I started learning about yoga is not finding any single yoga teacher in Saudi Arabia. So I found one teacher who was not very good that time, but I didn't know, now I understood. And I was mainly learning from DVDs and books. Then I traveled to learn after my graduation because I thought people should know about this type of exercise or practice. I thought of educating the society about yoga. I started teaching yoga and then after 10 years, I started um, teaching teachers because there is a high demand after the awareness what I've done in media, but there is no enough yoga teachers and the society was still um, learning about yoga, so I could not uh, manage to, to cover all the demands. So I took two of my students with me to India to get certified, and they came, they started. Then I was approved uh, myself by international organizations, and um, I was able to, to teach teachers. Um, I started the Arab Foundation in 2010, but in fact, I started teaching yoga in Jeddah in 2004. Um, and then I started teaching teachers in 2009 um, and I developed uh, that school into the Arab Yoga Foundation as um, a committee in India and it was recognized by the International Yoga Federation because I was the first Saudi to start this and I had a lot of Arabs from different parts of the Arab world studied with me and went to teach in their country. So it's like we spread it and I called it the Arab Yoga Foundation just to start building this community in the Arab country. I have an academy in India, uh, an academy for nutrition, um, naturopathy and yoga sciences, wellness and, and certain courses. We have distance education and normal regular courses uh, and we have a yoga center in, in India we have also an exports company so certain uh, business that is things manufactured in India so I was teaching yoga I was in a class and it was um, 7 30 Saudi time so it must have been uh, 10 Indian time 10 p.m. and it was 25th of uh, January 2018 Usually the Indian government announces this award in the night of the Republic Day, which is 26th of uh, January. Suddenly, I always don't take my phones with me. But that day I was in a hurry, so I kept the phone on the side. And I've seen a lot of Indian numbers calling me. So I was looking at my assistant and she was saying, what's wrong? And a lot of notifications on Twitter. And I was like, okay, let me finish the class and look at it. So by the time uh, it became eight and I finished the class, I took my, um, I opened my WhatsApp and one Indian friend who's actually in media, he is in DD News, it's a national uh, TV channel, texted me congratulations and he sent me the picture and I said, what is this? And um, he said, you don't know? I said, no, I don't know. So I saw another friend, uh, Mr. Gautam, uh, who texted me, Nof, you won the highest four civilian award from the President of India for the promotion of yoga in Saudi Arabia and for battling your disease and stuff. So um, my Indian friends suddenly came to my home and they celebrated till midnight. I was still in a shock. So the Indian CD, the Consul General, Mr. Noor Rahman, he's, he's a big supporter of everything we do in yoga, called me and I was crying because it was very overwhelming. And he said, it's okay, it's okay, cry, because these are the tears of happiness. And then the ambassador called me, Mr. Javid Ahmed. Then I realized that this thing is true. <laughs> How do I see India? I see India as my second country, definitely. I lived between India and Saudi Arabia for 11 years. So from my first trip in India, I noticed how kind people are, how simple they are, because I started in Kerala. The hospitality is amazing. 
and I learned a lot of things about being true to yourself because it's it's very casual they're like they have a culture that is completely similar to Saudi culture Indians welcomed me always and they were so sweet uh, what I noticed in India that they're very proud of me they're very proud that there is a Saudi who's interested uh, in yoga and the Indian culture and every time because I wear a lot of Indian um, clothes I find them very comfortable and decent so people keep telling me it's very beautiful and you know they comment they're very nice I was so surprised when I came after the uh, award ceremony to the hotel and I found a lot of young fans standing with my picture to sign it uh, and basically maybe I have more fans in India than Saudi Arabia <laughs>